Here's some thrifting tricks you're gonna love, the ones you've never seen before. Let's hit it. These are things anybody can find in any thrift store. And of course, it wouldn't be a do it at a dime video if I didn't share some Dollar Tree ideas. Here's why you wanna come to the thrift store and get an ugly canvas. Yes, an ugly canvas. The ugliest one you can find even, as long as it's big. And then I want you to take a shower curtain. I'm gonna link some of my favorite Amazon options below that you can get for under $20. Word of caution though, your pet might start to think you're building him a bed. Maybe you have an old piece at home that you're wanting to swap out. This is such a great trick. I put as many staples as I possibly can in this, cut off the excess, but wait until you see this other option because I wanna know which is your favorite. So this is a bird shower curtain. I actually got this one from Target, but the secret is to pull it taut on two edges and then add as many staples as possible and then fold over the corners. And I add four to five staples just to make sure it's nice and secure. Then you can take a pair of fabric scissors to trim the excess. You deserve to have big, beautiful art in your home. Which is your favorite? The beautiful birds above my fireplace or do you like the dark and moody flowers above the piano? This is such a statement on a dime. Every idea in this video is that easy, I promise. Another item every thrift store has in spades are wrought iron hangings. I mean, every time I go into my local Goodwill, I see a thousand of these. Some are big, some are small, some are meant to hold candles. And honestly, these look really dated as is. These were really in in kind of the 2010s, I feel, but we're going to modernize it. And the first trick I have for you is to grab a Dollar Tree solar light. And I just use command strips to stick this right on the wrought iron. And this is held up for months outside on our porch. Another amazing trick is to grab shower curtain rings and mason jars. Yep, you guessed it from the Dollar Tree. You can also find this at the thrift store and use this for your plant propagation. Both pothos and ivy plants do really well in just water. I like to loop the plants right into the wrought iron. It gives this beautiful piece a fresh new purpose. I love it. Next time you're at the thrift store, be prepared to get inspired by something similar. And be prepared to be surprised. For under 10 bucks, I found this incredible pink settee. I can't wait to show you how I use it. I absolutely love getting pillows from the thrift store. These are $1.99. Check out this one. This is a tapestry style pillow. It has velvet in the back. My trick when I'm shopping in store is to take a quick picture and then I open up Google and I click the little camera icon and I can search for similar items to see how much they retail for. I love anything tapestry and this pillow has an estimated retail of $65, super score. Look at this is, I'm just saying, this pillow is from Pier One. If you're one of those people who are like, I never find anything at the thrift store, I go in, I can't find it. Like you gotta, you gotta be aggressive, okay? Aggressively move and then you can like really go through and actually see like full on what is in here. That's how I'm gonna find the cool stuff. This entire area was done for under 30 bucks. I've got lots more house stuff, but first I have to share with you my secret for thrifting my clothes. I have to share with you my favorite thrifting trick that you can use from your couch. This part of the video is sponsored by Thread Up. If you haven't heard of Thread Up, this is the largest online thrift store with your favorite clothing name brands up to 90% off estimated retail. I recently found this gorgeous wide leg pant that I really wanted to get for fall. And ThreadUp has a new feature where you can thrift using an image search. Upload your picture to the ThreadUp app and it will search for garments in your size that are similar to the one you're looking for. So you can literally find those full price items and get them thrifted. Check out this outfit I put together. These Abercrombie pants are the ones that I found that retail for $127 and I got them for just 50 bucks. Not only that, this Betsy Johnson belt has an estimated retail of $127 and I got it for just 30 bucks on ThreadUp. And can I just say how excited I am that flats are back in style and this Vince top I absolutely love with an estimated retail value of $125, I got it for 25 bucks. But I think my favorite part is this, this aqua blazer was just $40 and has an estimated retail of 125 bucks. You absolutely have to try out the image search feature because I'm one of those people that like, I don't necessarily know when I'm thrifting if I'm gonna like it, but I know that I like it when I see it. Does that make sense? And this just does all of the work for you. And it's the same low prices as always. You do not have to sacrifice convenience and luxury on thread up. These are Giorgio Armani pants. I got these for $50. And I am a mix and match girl. So I took these Jessica Simpson shoes and I paired it with this Zara dress. It's sweater 
It's so, so nice. I just love how simple it is. And y'all, this was 50% off. I also used the image search feature on this one just because I was looking for some like really natural kind of neutral tones for fall. And I love how versatile this is. Over 90% of my wardrobe comes from a thread up. And what's more, they're extending an additional 45% to you when you use my code right here. Definitely check out thread up and the new image search feature. I can't wait to hear about what you found. Charlie doesn't like this, but I think this is so beautiful. It's vintage. This is a bed frame for twin bed and it's only $39.99. This is so beautiful. I love the gold. One of my favorite things to thrift are lampshades, especially if you're really into like the trending vintage looks, that antique style. Literally come to the thrift store. They are so cheap. We're talking $2.99. Ooh, look how lacy and fun this is. I've never paid full price for lampshades. I really liked this Victorian style. These wall sconces came from Amazon and they're on a remote control, so they're not even hardwired into the wall, but I just love how elegant this makes the space look. This is an item I never pay full price for, and if you want to change the tone or the vibe of a room, it's a really cheap way to do it all by thrifting. So I was in the thrift store and I saw these gorgeous glass cut lamps. I used the Google Lens feature and I found out these are Jillian Marie Corinthian style glass cut lamps that retail for hundreds. I really wanted to put them in our master bedroom. It kind of has a French theme, but I wanted to modernize it. My favorite thing to do is to mix modern elements with old elements. This modern drum shade looks so pretty with this lamp. I can't believe it was just $6.99. I want to talk about fringe, but not this fringe. When it comes to tassels, I've been thrifting tons of tassels to give my home kind of that vintage vibe. I put them on my curtains and I even put them around vases, lamps. I've got some in my dining room. When you see tassels, you can get them at the thrift store for just a few dollars. And I like to add character to my home and I want to show you what I just found. Come here. I love finding like flourishes like this. Look at this. This one is only $3.99. So whenever I see something like this that I can add to the architecture of my home, whether it's doorknobs or outlet covers or something like this, it adds so much interest visually and you can do it really affordably. I love watching videos like this because I often get overwhelmed in the thrift store, but when I see somebody use something, I'm like, oh yeah, I could do that too. I look for quality pieces that feel great in my hand and are well-made. My thrift store has great mugs and almost every thrift store I've been in recently has a small wooden shelf of some kind. And I wanna share with you some of my tricks and some before and afters. I love to find beautiful frames. I am so into gold frames. Neither of these pictures are speaking to me personally, but you can always take off the back and then put something completely different inside. I'm obsessed with a good gallery wall. Here's my gallery wall that is 100 100% thrifted, everything on it was less than $5. And my favorite Dollar Tree trick for cleaning glass, windows, plexiglass, is this scrub-free cleaner. I put this on all of my art and it just makes all of it shine like new. I've been really enjoying finding things that make me happy. This was a super lucky score that was signed by Ray Harm himself. I girl math this whole thing. I didn't measure. I just put some nails in the wall and clustered things together in a way that made me happy. I heard it said once, if you fill your home with things that you find beautiful, you can't go wrong no matter how you do it. Layers are helpful. Can you spot the frame I took the glass out of? And I have to show you this. This is a silk screen that I thrifted this weekend and it's not meant to be hung on the wall. So I grabbed these hooks for just $1.98 from the hardware store and I decided to prop it up on the wall. This is meant to be a folded silk screen. I went over it with a Sharpie to help camouflage them. But using decor like this in unconventional ways, I think if you love it, you should find a way to be able to use it in your home. It's this type of stuff that makes a wow on a budget. And remember that little wooden shelf? I want to share with you a secret. This lemon oil wood polish. It is five star rated. I'll be sure to link it below. Thrifted stuff can sometimes look dull. This completely will restore it. It smells so good too. And I just want to remind you, if you've got that spot of your home that just feels dated or grimy, this wall was literally so messed up, y'all. I decided to just take the 20 minutes it would take to give this a fresh coat of paint. I pulled out this paint can from my garage. This is our backpack drop station, and I also wanted to use this shelf to store coffee mugs. I'm not sure it's original purpose, but I love repurposing things. I also thrifted this little teacup, which turns out is actually a really nice piece. Submerging it, you can tap a little hole in it using a nail. It gives it a drainage hole, so I could put a really cute plant in here. 
And recently I heard of something called dopamine decor. Have you heard of it? Basically, it's just decorating your house with things that make you happy, even if it's quirky or a little bit different. I think those are the fun things in life, don't you? The older I get, the more I realize it definitely is the little things. Be sure to check out ThreadUp and use the code DIME at checkout for 45% off of your first order. My beautiful friend, if nobody has told you today, you are enough. I mean, this is this is why you go to the thrift store. Not only do you find cool stuff, it's fun. I mean, what? Please. Subscribe.